Get ready for the iCar. What's your take on the resurgence of this Apple automobile rumor? An Apple car. Apple, Apple car. car. Apple, Apple car. car. Self-driving electric car. Apple car. This is really all over the wire. The electric vehicle market has been heating up, with rumors circulating about Apple's plans to launch an EV. Fans and critics alike have been eagerly anticipating the launch of Apple's iCar car, codenamed Titan. But something unexpected has happened. The iCar was launched this week, but it wasn't Apple that launched it. Cherry, the Chinese automaker, beat them to it with the release of a new car brand and two new models. Join us today as we explore how Cherry managed to beat Apple to the punch with the iCar GT. It's true. In 2014, Apple launched Project Titan, assembling a team of over 1,000 experts and engineers to look into the top secret project at a location near their Cupertino headquarters. However, the development of the Apple Car or iCar project hasn't been a smooth ride. Now, over the years, the project has gone through multiple shifts and changes due to internal strife and leadership issues. In fact, there were rumors in 2016 that the project had been shelved altogether, leaving many wondering if we would ever see an Apple car on the road. But by 2020, the project was back on track, and it seemed that Apple was serious about making a foray into an automotive industry. Unfortunately, in 2022, it was revealed that Apple's plans for a fully autonomous vehicle was not going to work out as expected, and the project was scaled back. Now, it looks like the Chinese brand Cherry wants to steal this name before Apple can get a chance to use it. And as it has just announced the launch of its new independent EV brand, iCar, and showcased its first two models at the Shanghai Auto Show. Cherry Automobile's growth story is a remarkable one, full of milestones and achievements that have established it as a leading player in the global automotive industry. It all began in 1997 when Cherry was founded in Wuhu, a city in the Anhui province of China. As a state-owned enterprise, Cherry set out to produce passenger cars, minivans and SUVs under the Cherry marquee and commercial vehicles under the Cherry brand. But two years later, in 1999, Cherry started production of its first passenger car model, the Fengian, and began selling it in China. This marked the beginning of the company's journey toward becoming a major player in the automotive industry. In 2001, Cherry exported its first batch of cars to Syria, marking the start of its overseas expansion. By 2003, Cherry had become China's largest passenger car exporter thanks to the popularity of its QQ model in emerging markets such as Russia, South America, and Africa. Cherry's success continued in the following years as it launched its first self-developed engine in 2006, formed a joint venture with Israel Corporation to develop electric vehicles in 2007, and opened its first overseas factory in Iran in 2009. In 2010, Cherry established a joint venture with Jaguar Land Rover to manufacture vehicles in China under the JV's brand. And two years later, it launched its first sub-brand, Reich, which targeted high-end consumers in China. Cherry's commitment to innovation and technology continued to drive its growth as it formed a strategic partnership with Didi Chuxing. China's leading ride-hauling company in 2016 to develop intelligent connected vehicles and smart mobility solutions. In 2020, Cherry marked a major milestone with the launch of its first hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, the Cherry New Energy S61. The company also opened a new R&D center in Muha to focus on hydrogen fuel cell technology, further cementing its position as a pioneer in the development of new energy vehicles. Today, Cherry Automotive is a major player in the global automotive industry. With a diverse product portfolio, a strong international presence, and a reputation for innovation and quality. Now, the company has launched the iCar, with the iCar GT being the first car model, while the second model, the iCar 03 hardcore SUV, was teased. Cherry Auto is targeting the younger demographic with its iCar brand and plans to produce cars in the price range of 150,000 to 400,000 yuan, approximately 21,800 to 58,200 USD. 
Interestingly, the logo for the iCar brand was designed by Kao Zhou, the same artist responsible for the panda mascot of the 2022 Winter Olympic Games in Beijing. The iCar GT is a stunning fully electric sports car, and it was the star of the Shanghai Auto Show. And it's not hard to see why. With scissored doors and T-shaped LEDs on both ends, it's hard not to think of Tesla's iconic emblem. But this car is no copycat. It's a design masterpiece in its own right. The illuminated T-shaped elements on the large diameter wheels add to the futuristic vibe, and the low noise, toned rear shoulders, and integrated spoiler at the back make it clear that this car is all about speed. While it's still a concept vehicle, it's clear that the production version won't be far behind, judging from the interior pictures. The interior is just as impressive as the exterior. The sci-fi inspired design features a yoke steering wheel with an integrated display that's sure to make you feel like you're piloting a spaceship. The large touchscreen in the middle of the dashboard is also a thing of beauty with an illuminated area that looks like water. Cherry Auto also teased their upcoming iCar 3, a pure electric SUV that was previously known by its codename S56. This fully electric SUV is built to tackle even the toughest terrains with its sturdy steel and aluminum body and impressive ground clearance. Drawing inspiration from legendary off-road vehicles like the Land Rover Defender and Jetor Traveler, the iCar 03 boasts an eye-catching two-tone exterior, boxy wheel arches, and an iCar all-road badge on the tailgate. This electric SUV isn't all about looks. It's got brains, too. Equipped with Cherry's IVA Virtual Assistant, NFC Unlocking, and a range of smart vehicle functions, the iCar 03 promises a cutting-edge driving experience. And with its L2 Plus capable ADAS suite, you can enjoy advanced driver assistant features to keep you safe on the road. While the interior design remains a mystery, the iCar 03's full-scale prototype suggests that it's gearing up for production, with a length similar to that of European subcompact SUVs, but a longer wheelbase closer to that of the compact segment. The iCar 03 promises a comfortable ride both on and off the road. The future of iCar looks exciting as the brand plans to roll out a diverse range of electric vehicles based on the IMS architecture. In addition to the GT sports car and the 03 SUV, the brand teased the outlines of five other upcoming models including two sleek vehicles, two SUVs, and an MPV. With such an array of vehicles in the pipeline, iCar seems determined to cover all the bases, whether you're a speed enthusiast or an eco-conscious family driver. Moreover, iCar's collaboration with CATL, the world's leading battery maker, is a move that promises to shake up the electric vehicle market further. iCar is set to become the first automaker to incorporate sodium-ion batteries into its production vehicles under the NRQ label. Cherry's latest innovation isn't just limited to the iCar vehicles themselves. They're also introducing a cutting-edge virtual assistant called IVA. This AI-powered assistant will be able to connect to external services and can be interacted with through voice commands while driving. It can carry out tasks such as adjusting the temperature or opening and closing windows, making for a truly futuristic driving experience. Last year, CATL announced its plans to mass-produce sodium-ion batteries as early as 2023. Now, it seems that Cherry's iCar could be one of the first vehicles to benefit from this groundbreaking technology. Sodium-ion batteries offer several advantages over traditional lithium-ion batteries, including their less flammable nature and abundance of raw materials. With over 1,000 times more sodium than lithium available, the potential for scaling up production is staggering. While they currently have a lower energy density than their lithium-ion counterparts, improvements in the technology are being made at a rapid pace. In fact, the first generation of sodium-ion batteries is already better than the lithium-ion cells of just six or seven years ago. The collaboration between Cherry and CATL will launch a new battery brand called EnerQ, 
and it's exciting to see what kind of impact sodium-ion batteries will have on the automotive industry. The future looks bright for electric vehicles with more efficient and sustainable power sources on the horizon. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.